welcome to My Life on Paper. I'm Brianna and welcome to the Iron Crafter Challenge which is put on by Tara from the Paper Snob and Peace Craft Love Clubhouse. Um, I am also taking a sketch from Follow Sketch February. It is by Heather Waldron in 2012. Um, I will have both of these things linked below. There is a playlist for the Iron Crafter and this month's item that is the challenge is ribbon, twine, I, th I think it's like ribbon and twine and um, uh, jute or yarn or floss, all those kind of things, trim. So I, this is cr uh, close to my heart paper. That is a close to my heart border sticker and I don't have a lot left. And these are, are uh, pictures from when my husband and I went to New Mexico last, I think it was March. Um, and so, no, I think it was May. <laughs> So I'm going to use these little scraps and that's what I'm doing right now is just picking out the scraps that look like they would go along and follow the sketch. These are not as thick as what the sketch is. They're not as long, but I am doubling them up and with this lovely stripe, you will never tell that it is two different pieces of paper. Um, and I'm going to bulk it up. I'm going to make it look thicker with this uh, sticker uh, border. Um, I trimmed down the map uh, a paper and then I'm going to use this other photo in place of the journaling spot um, my husband helps me journal and you know it I might put a different journaling spot on there um, when he when it comes time for him to journal so we'll see about that so I don't have a journaling spot at the end of this so I do use my Tim Holtz distressor just to uh, rough up a couple of the sides and it just gives it a little bit of texture. I just wanted it to stand out a little bit. I mean, they're all very subdued colors. This is a Martha Stewart punch, and I believe it is used to weave ribbon through your paper. I do make a mistake, but I, I think I cover it up. You'll have to let me know um, once I weave the, ribbon, weave the ribbon through. So I just go along the whole way of this border, and that's going to go uh, be part of my of but that bottom border um, you'll see when I when I do that so I'm not sure where I got this ribbon I do get I have some ribbon it's mostly sheer ribbon this has got some wire in it it might be that it's from Hobby Lobby but it just it could, might be a hand-me-down I used to have a lot of ribbon I got rid of a lot of it but the sheer ones I've seemed to keep and and this one again not sure where I got it but it's hanging out in my stash and it was perfect for this my sheer ribbon is just too thick to go through those little um, punches that I did. So you will see me just kind of, I left this in, um, you'll see me threading it through. I figured I could use this time to kind of tell you about the Iron Crafter. It's a, it's a group that's put on every month. Um, Tara and the Peace Craft Loves Clubhouse. <laughs> it's a mouthful. I'm sorry. I, I was practicing, but, um, uh, so I, there will be link below the Facebook group, um, along with the playlist for that. So check that out. And then, uh, February, uh, follow sketch February. Um, there is a Facebook group, Facebook group, and I think there is also a playlist for that as well. If I remember correctly, that was of course back in February. I'm still working on some of these sketches and I'm so glad to be doing them. And I just love sketches. Um, so there we go. And I'm going to keep winding that. And I guess the end kind of phrase, I maybe should have trimmed the end off. I have plenty of it. So it's not like I'm, I was a little worried I'd come up a little short. And if I'm, I didn't want to have to adjust the whole thing once I um, got it wound all the way in there. So I made sure to have enough. And I did. And I actually trimmed some off at the end. But it probably would have been to my benefit to trim it off now because the end is kind of frayed and it's hard to to get through these little punches. Um, these pictures from New Mexico are uh, beautiful old churches. There's two different ones um, that we we took a, I think we took a walk and we went past here. So um, we also did some hiking in the mountains. I have scrapped those and there are videos for that. Um, and this I think might be the last of that set of New Mexico pictures. So that's pretty exciting as well. I do try to chronologically scrapbook, um, but I jump all around uh, depending on what I, I want or need to scrapbook. So um, they're all, my pictures are all set up in order. Um, I am, I think I'm up to 
I was gonna say I'm up to June, but then I just told you I'm in May, so I think I after this I'll be up to June. However, I'm kind of savoring my Disney photos. Oh, here you as you see, I, I trimmed off the ribbon. I have some for another page. I will use my ATG, um, and I'm gonna start by just um, I think I start with the matte paper in the back to just kind of lining things up. Um, Sorry to be sneaking underneath that sketch there, but this is another Martha Stewart punch. I said in, um, they have scallops there, so I'm just gonna use this. It's a different matte paper, it's more subtle, and um, because it is so close, it's different but close, I am gonna go and uh, take some ink. I have um, some ink from close to my heart. Uh, it's the old style and everything so but I'm just gonna run that along the one side I don't I'm not too worried about all the other sides but because it's up against that other map I just want to give it a dark edge I will glue that on there and I'm not worried about the length because I know I'm going to be tucking it in and I don't have to put a lot of uh, adhesive on there just enough to get it stuck down to the page um, and so I figure out the placement for that and then I will figure out the placement for these striped um, strips and I didn't change the width on these at all or the or the length for that matter bringing in my photos so that I get everything lined up correctly and I know it's it's higher up than what the sketch is but again I'm gonna use not only the ribbon that I just uh, weaved through the paper but also that sticker border to um, make that stripe strip just appear longer thicker and there I go and again I'm not using that much adhesive on there just enough and oh and then I'm thinking oh upside down let's try it this way oh I should tell you what the background paper is the background paper is from um creative memories and I'm so I was so excited to find it it is called the 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 collection is called Picture Perfect Travels, and they're just they're mostly like very subtle backgrounds, but it looks like such a mixed media background, and I think it goes perfectly with these, the map and the kind of the travel items, even the stripes. I used some of the other pattern paper to tuck in on that right side. I had distressed that, and then I'm going to do the same thing with on the left side. And I'll just sneak the adhesive underneath that so that everything, once I get it where I want it, um, it's not going to move around. I will layer this photo just like the journaling box is layered. I don't want to cover up any of the church, but it, there is room just to do a little bit of tucking. Now I have to apologize for the first seven and a half minutes of the video where it sounded like I was in a bathroom or something. I was not. It's my new microphone and it was on the wrong setting. So I apologize. It should it should sound a lot better now. So trimmed down that second uh, piece of pattern paper to go on the left. And then I will take my Tim Holtz distressor and kind of just rough that up a little bit as well. I just thought of a question of the day. Do you go to Instagram to look at... Um, scrapbooking layouts as well. I do. And I'm also on Instagram. So um, if I remember, which I hopefully I will, I will link that down below. My, I'll leave my Instagram um, link below. If I forget, please, and you're interested, please let me know and, uh, so that I can, I can let you know. Um, these are Fancy Pants designs. These are, I, I think I just got them from Peachy Cheap. They are enamel dots and this, this like tan beige, grayish color is like perfect. I know they're very subtle, but it works on this layout and I wish I had a whole sheet of them. Um, I have a list of things on my phone that I barely ever look at, but brown, <laughs> brown enamel dots is one of the things on my list. Those little things that I was looking at are from Paper Studio, though they just didn't have the right shade. So I did not use those and I grabbed a bunch of stuff out of my stash. These were, just, this was just random stickers I have in my stash. They're the clear stickers. Which I know can be hard to, to use, but these are perfect for this. So the first clear sticker I use is this one, and it says Great Trip. And I want to run it right across the top of that. The photo there, and then this, the round one says Cross Country, and, and it's one of those things that has just been in my stash forever. And I was like super excited that it went with this, and I could use it on this travel page. The sticker down in the right corner um, went along with this collection, I'm pretty sure, from close to my heart. 
And then once I used that button border, I had this piece left and it, I didn't want to throw it away. It looked like it belonged there. So I added that down to the bottom. Because I have those buttons down there and then I have this big cross country round part, I grabbed out some flare. I'm going to use those and I'm going to, you know, put them in about like three clusters in a visual triangle. And this is from Paper Studios, uh, these travel stickers. So I'll grab off some of those, just the brown and then the green ones. Um, when we, w we flew to New Mexico, but we traveled around by car. So I put the car on there. I use a little geotag on one of the flare. I've got a button sticker from, uh, from somewhere that I, that I put onto the one of the flare. The sticker there, the green one says where memories are made. So it's kind of like a subtitle, right? Great trip where memories are made. I use the green arrow for the flare. And then I will take my adhesive foam. Oh, I'm going to move it around first a little bit. <laughs> I want to get my three, my three, um, clusters in like a visual triangle. So I did not do them exactly like the sketch shows. Um, I moved, I didn't do that long one on the bottom. I've got all those pretty stripes. So I'm going to do a cluster up in the right corner there. And I like the way that turns out. Um, this is a stamped image that I have. It's a close to my heart one. It says smile. And I have, I did put that on a layout a couple days ago, but the nice thing about jumping around is it's on a layout from like a long time, not a long time ago, but like maybe six months prior to this or maybe six months after this. I'm not sure. I can't remember, but anyway, so it's not like you're going to sit next to each other in the album, but there is the completed layout. Thank you so much for hanging out with me through the end. I hope you have a fabulous day and please come back and see me again soon.